My child, I love you, my dear, precious, beloved, blessed, beautiful child of my great love. And that is what you are. I am the king of the kingdom of God who lives within you. Where you are, I am always in your midst and surrounding you. My kingdom is not about keeping regulations on food and drink, or how you should pray or what you should do to get me to accept you. It's not based on your efforts. My kingdom is not attained by the works you do or enhanced by your strength or wisdom. So, you cannot boast about becoming a member of my kingdom because there is no reward system of good works that opens its doors. For I am spirit, and my kingdom is the realm of the Holy Spirit, filled with children born of my spirit, approved and accepted and in right relationship with me by my goodness. I picked out for myself as my own, in Christ Jesus before the foundation of the world. Because of my great love, I ordained you, set you apart holy and blameless in my eyes, because of my great love for you. Deep inside you, my spirit releases the life of Christ within you, who makes his permanent home in your heart. You are rooted deep in love and founded securely on love, which is the very source of your life. My spirit in you empowers you to live and to experience the benefits of my living my life in you. I move you by the impulses of the Holy Spirit in my kingdom to motivate you to pursue what pleases me. I have filled you with my eternal flame, with God myself to be light to the world, and all who embrace me, the life-giving light that never fails to shine through the darkness. My light darkness cannot overcome. My light in you penetrates the darkness, and the sons of darkness cannot diminish it. The eternal flame of life is in you that lights up the world. You live in the midst of a brutal, crooked, and perverse culture, and appears a shining light holding out to them the words of eternal life. You shine the eternal light of my kingdom, always in sincere love expressing the word of life, which flows through you piercing the world of darkness. You are my chosen treasure to be a living word sent from my mouth and authorized to speak on my behalf. You are the voice of heaven to the earth, invested with royal power through the name of Jesus and the authority of his blood. So the world will discover the overcoming life found in Jesus Christ and experience my eternal glory that lasts forever. You are my own purchased special child, who has experienced my marvelous light, and now you light the world with my kingdom's presence. You carry my eternal flame to the world. As my personal representative, you tenderly plead for the world to take hold of the divine favor now offered and be reconciled yourself to me. I have made you a messenger of my good news by the gift of my grace that works through you, to make known the revelation secrets of my kingdom and the unending and inexhaustible riches available to you in Christ. Things never heard of or discovered before, things beyond what your mind can imagine, that I have in store for you in whom the glory of my eternal flame burns brightly, my child. My child, within you burns the fervent flame of my presence, a light that has been kindled since the dawn of creation. Your existence is not a mere happenstance but a deliberate act of my will. 
You were chosen, set apart and anointed with a purpose that transcends earthly understanding. The spirit within you is a testament to my love and my unending desire to see you flourish in the fullness of the life I have designed for you. You see, my kingdom is not confined by the limitations of the physical world. It transcends the boundaries of time and space, reaching into the depths of your soul. It is a kingdom where love reigns supreme, where peace is the natural order, and where joy flows like an ever-abundant river. This kingdom resides within you, intertwined with your very being, empowering you to live a life that reflects my glory. In this kingdom, there are no qualifications based on human merit. Your entry was secured not by your deeds, but by my grace. It was my son Jesus who paved the way, breaking down the barriers that once separated us. Through his sacrifice, you have been cleansed, sanctified, and made whole. You are now a part of a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people from my own possession. My child, never doubt your worth or question your place in my kingdom. You are a beacon of light in this world, a living testament to my love and power. You have been equipped with everything you need to fulfill the destiny I have laid out before you. The Holy Spirit within you is your guide, your comforter, and your source of strength. Lean into him, trust in his leading, and you will find that the path becomes clear, even in the midst of uncertainty. You are not alone in this journey. You are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, those who have gone before you and those who walk alongside you. Together, you form a community of believers, a family bound by the love of Christ. Support one another, encourage one another, and build each other up in faith. For in unity, there is strength, and in love, there is power. As you go forth, remember that you carry within you the light of the world. This light is not meant to be hidden, but to shine brightly, illuminating the darkness and bringing hope to the hopeless. Speak words of life, act in love, and live with integrity. Let your life be a reflection of my kingdom, a testament to my love, and a beacon of hope to all who encounter you. You have been given a divine mandate, a calling that is unique to you. Embrace it with confidence, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. I have equipped you with gifts and talents that are perfectly suited to the task at hand. Use them wisely, steward them faithfully, and watch as I multiply your efforts for my glory. My child, you are loved beyond measure, cherished beyond comprehension, and valued beyond worth. You are mine, and I am yours. Together we will accomplish great things, for my kingdom is within you, and my spirit empowers you. Go forth in confidence, knowing that you are a child of the King, a bearer of light, and a vessel of my love. In my kingdom, there is no fear, for perfect love casts out all fear. There is no lack, for I am your provider, and I supply all your needs according to my riches and glory. There is no failure for I work all things together for your good. Trust in me, rest in my love, and know that you are secure in my hands. You are my beloved, my chosen, my own. Walk in the fullness of your identity, 
live in the abundance of my grace and shine with the brilliance of my glory. For you are a child of the kingdom and my kingdom is within you. My child, your journey is one of constant discovery, a perpetual unveiling of my love and my plans for you. Each day, as you walk in the light of my presence, you will find new depths of understanding, fresh revelations of my character, and an ever-deepening relationship with me. Do not be discouraged by the challenges you face, for there are opportunities for growth and for my power to be displayed in your life. Remember, my child, that you are never alone. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. My spirit dwells within you, guiding your steps and speaking to your heart. Listen for my voice, and you will find wisdom and direction. Trust in my leading, and you will walk in paths of righteousness for my name's sake. You are called to be a light in the darkness, a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Your life is a testimony to my grace and my power to transform. As you go about your daily life, let your actions reflect my love. Be kind, be patient, be forgiving. Show compassion to those in need and extend grace to those who have wronged you. In doing so, you will be a living example of my kingdom, drawing others to the light of my love. My child, you have been given a mission, a purpose that is uniquely yours. Do not compare yourself to others, for I have created you with a specific plan in mind. Your gifts, your talents, your experiences, all have been orchestrated by me to equip you for the work I have set before you. Embrace your uniqueness and use it to bring glory to my name. In times of trial, remember that I am your refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. When you are weary, come to me and I will give you rest. When you are burdened, Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me, and I will direct your paths. You are my child, and I delight in you. I take joy in your successes and am with you in your struggles. I celebrate your victories and am present in your defeats. Nothing can separate you from my love, for you are held securely in my hands. Trust in my love, and you will find peace that surpasses all understanding. As you grow in your relationship with me, you will find that my plans for you are good plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Seek my face and you will find that I am faithful to fulfill my promises. Delight yourself in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. You are not defined by your past, but by who you are in me. You are a new creation Old things have passed away, and all things have become new. Walk in the newness of life that I have given you, and let go of any shame or guilt that tries to hold you back. You are forgiven, you are redeemed, and you are loved. My child, as you continue on this journey, know that I am with you every step of the way. My love for you is immeasurable, and my plans for you are beyond your wildest dreams. Trust in me, 
lean on me and allow my spirit to guide you into all truth. You are my beloved and I am your God. Together, we will accomplish great things, for my kingdom is within you and my spirit empowers you. Go forth with confidence, knowing that you are deeply loved, highly favored, and richly blessed. You are a child of the King, a bearer of light, and a vessel of my love. Shine brightly, live boldly, and embrace the fullness of your identity in me. For you are my child, and I am your God, now and forevermore. 